Mango Mustache Media. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the oh Sexy Housewife podcast. That That's from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I love okay. that movie. All right, that was really <laughs> soft and gentle. I was like, yo. One time I watched that movie with a guy in college just to show him how mm. insane I was. Which Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? The second one with Johnny Depp. Like the actual like, oh, psychotic one. Oh, he's got like one. the wire around his face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like the psycho, psycho one. The only thing I didn't like, if he would have sang, I would have enjoyed it. But like you just can't beat, you know, that older Caucasian man on that like candy mushroom, you know, sitting in a teacup, whatever can can, you know, whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> that, that's the best, you know, it's the best that's ever been it done. It was fucking nuts. Yeah, you totally forget about that fat kid drowning in chocolate. <laughs> You're like, oh, don't, don't even worry about it. Didn't you hear him singing? <laughs> like, it's great. Uh, I love that movie. I am yeah. your host, Karen Sanchez Dougal. I'm so excited for this episode today. I have here with me Jorge Ramirez. Hello, hello. How are hello. you? Hello. We are here, of course, at the Mango Mustache Studios in Cedar Rapids. And with us, we've got our producer in studio, Alex Jose Schulte. We. <laughs> Had to hit the air horn on him through the gentle music. He's like, "But it's me." Mm-mm-mm. I like that. You gotta have a personality in there. Karen hated that, but I it's okay. Like it again. It's okay. Well, you interrupted my joke. Oh, what I'm sorry. Joke? I'm sorry. We're we're all Hispanics in the building today. Yeah, yeah. It's a three bean salad. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's these mangoes are making sense now. The mango mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Is Most Latino. Like a, Things we could think of. Yeah, it's like broadcast on like Telemundo, right? <laughs> like we're giving, a, giving the weather. Yeah. I wish I was as hot as Jackie Garrido. Jackie Garrido? Dude, Dude that's I how I knew I was Sofia bisexual. Sofia Garcia, I was when I was all like Hispanic. She's not even Mexican, but like I, I'd claim her. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like she's the most fine. Oh, dude, Jackie Garrido was like, that's how I knew. I was Pull like, up Jackie Garrido. I don't know who we're talking about. Dude, Jackie Garrido is so fine. Eva Mendez is still to this day. Oh, Hot, yeah, so right? hot. That's what I'm saying. Pull up, Jackie who's she married though. to? Eva Mendes. She, oh, I have no idea. I don't, there's people listening going crazy right now. Give me a second, oh, I'm pulling like, her up. I'm pulling her up. All right, yeah, no, Eva Mendes had like my like crush for a while. It's like Chris Hemsworth or something like that. No, no it's not way. Chris Hemsworth, that's Thor, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the guy who I think should be with her. That's her, Fuck, yeah. She's fine as well. All right, yeah, she's fine. All right. She's fine. Yeah. She was the weather girl. Okay. I guess she knows yeah. Sofia Garcia, though, whatever. Who's Sofia? Sophia? Is it Sofia? Sofia Vergara? Vergara, yeah. Oh, Sofia Vergara. Yeah. Hell yeah, Way dude. Fine. Yeah. Sophia Vergara. How do we get to this so fast? I don't know, man. <laughs> Somehow the show always gets to Sofia Vergara. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just like the first person to come up here and like, ah, oh, Sofia, whatever her name is. <laughs> That's great. So uh, we were talking right before this. It turns out that me and Jorge are uh, related, probably. Yeah, most likely. More, dude, more than likely. Anytime I have a conversation with a Hispanic longer than 20 minutes, it's like, <laughs> oh, well, we're related? That's wild. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just happens to go that route every time. Well, our families are both from Michoacan, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is like, that just narrows When down did your family pool. come to the States? Like, what generation American are you? So, first. First generation. So your parents are from Mexico. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. See, my parents are from East LA. Uh, yeah. Okay. So okay. Different. No, I am straight off. I was like the first child who was actually born in the States. Oh, okay. So the rest of my siblings were born in Mexico. <laughs> and I was the only one. That's wrong. You're entitled. <laughs> I am. They call. Well, we've talked about it on this podcast before about how the rest of my siblings like rag on me for that. And they call me a pocha. Will it? <laughs> will it be different if you were all like? There's a huge like age here. gap. Oh, are they way older? Yes. Yeah. They're like sixteen, fifteen, and nine years older than me. I had to look up Michoacan. Oh, what? That's what's on the screen. Yes. It's there. Yep, that's it. Michoacan. Yep. Yep. That's the heart of it. Michoacan. It's good cocaine. That's right. <laughs> that's where uh, a lot of danger comes from so uh it's not that bad we're not the ones with the fentanyl all right that's not us all right just clear that up this is the 
podcast. This is a podcast to do it on. <laughs> it's not <laughs> us Mexicans putting in there specifically. That fentanyl ain't us. Fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we like to start off the podcast mm-hmm. first and foremost by asking, "Ho are you?" Which is like kind of like how big of a ho are you? How big of a ho am I? Yeah. I'm that. I'm retired. Me too. <laughs> I'm High five. Yeah, I'm I'm kicking it, dog. My girl dropped me off. <laughs> I'm, cool. I'm such a retired hoe that I have a 401k. There you go. <laughs> um, I like it. But K for Cox. <laughs> <laughs> the 401k is yeah. for Karen. But what ho are you means in sexy housewife mm. land it means how are you? Mm. Like for real? Like are you good, fam? I feel like that's a relevant question to ask comedians. <laughs> yeah. Just in general. Uh, I'm good, man. I I feel like I try to live my life uh, just one day at a time. Like I'm really being where my feet are lately. That's just been doing good for me. But roller coasters, man. We all have ups and downs. But caught me on an up day. I'm on an up right now. Yeah, feeling good. Good. Right. I'm glad. God, that got so Oprah right now. What happened? Good. <laughs> Thank you. I feel we like the sincerity in your eyes. Yo, I was like, all right, she really cares. We went cares. from fentanyl to are you Alex? Good? How are you? Dude, I'm. I'm that's. <laughs> I was going to be like, I'm good, but like I ran out of my meds like two days ago, so I'm kind of like riding the struggle bus right now, oh and I'm waiting, on I'm waiting on a refill. That makes sense. I laugh before the answer. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but like, all in all, no, life is good. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, good, th- things are going well. What do you well got, brain zaps or what? Good. Mango mustache. What's that? Is brain zaps? Okay. Dude, okay, so I couldn't sleep last night. That's mm. really what this was. So I woke up today, and um, and then I like was perpetually just like kind of asleep but kind of not so i'm kind of here i'm kind of not but what do you think about when you stay up uh well this was the first day i didn't have to like put out an episode of anything so i stayed up a little too late playing video games oh so i don't get to do that too often all right okay you know you're like tony stark in it ptsd just like a little bit (laughs) a little bit you know but i'm usually up editing so but assassin's creed black flag i just i just jump back in play black flag no not i haven't played that game in 10 years i don't know what this and i just jump back in and on because this guy's gonna this this is an old game. That's like, this is the dude, Sexy it, Housewife podcast. This talking about this on this <laughs> show is illegal. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, take this nerd talk outside. Get the fuck out of here. It's a great game. I haven't I played know. it in years. I just wanted to be a pirate again. We're three brains, so two of us are nerds. <laughs> hey, you're wearing I mean, a Dragon Ball Z shirt. Yeah, okay? all right, all right. No, I said two of us. I was including myself. Yeah. So right. you can hate on him, too. Uh, what games did you play? Did you play any video games? I played up? with my clit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No. Thank you. I would have played with that if I had it. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> sure. No, I, uh, my dog, my little dog, uh, she's nine months old and she has destroyed three of my vibrators. Your dog? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. What are you, like putting food on it for her? What is she, no. what is she so interesting? You gotta wash that after dog. Dude, I, <laughs> Like, I don't know how she gets it. Like, where she, are you putting them after? Like, let's say you're done, like, stand. right? You're, you're like, so you, you finish, you do your thing, you walk over, well, okay, you listen. just put it in her food bowl. <laughs> like, <laughs> three's a lot. I'll just no. say, okay, listen, sometimes I just I can't sleep. Uh-huh. And so I rub one out, as one does, as one does, yeah, and then I pass out. Uh-huh. And the next day, I. <laughs> get up and go to work and i like either okay so like we have a sleep number bed so we have one of those beds that like both sides like goes up and down Mm. so there's a crack in the middle like like the bed has like an ass crack yeah so like sometimes i'll just oh you have one of those divorce beds the ones where you guys are like in two different you guys set your own system yes yes (laughs) Yes. No, those are, I used to sell mattresses all the time. And those I were my love favorite it. to sell. Those two different people. They were like, look, we love each other. We just can't stand each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> we love each other. We just, I just, I t- I'm a huge like bed hog. Yeah. Like I'm doing my own thing over here. I'm yeah, a huge I bed hog. And my poor husband, my poor, poor husband, just. He's this big. He's as big as my finger. Yeah, I'm sure he's got girth. Oh. No, I'm just <laughs> Oh, oh that's so, um, he's the, no. His, hold on, but anyway, how does your dog get to? So I'm still... <laughs> I shove it in the butt crack of the bed. Yeah, because I'm lazy. All right, and I have not learned my and lesson. You have like a golden retriever or something. You have like... Yes, she's a corgi, 
She's a corgi okay. Aussie Super mix. <laughs> oh, what? All right. She's a corgi Aussie dog. mix. All right. So she's really cute. Okay. And then this fucking cunt goes and she fucking finds it. I either like <laughs> leave it on my nightstand and she will go and she will find You're it. You're going to have to put it in the lockbox for her. Dude, she's, dude, after I, three, she's addicted. She's looking for more. She's <laughs> like, she wants to eat my pussy. Yeah. Like I have literally. <laughs> she's going to go to the source. Dude, my do- like she literally <laughs> like wants to fuck me. I'm pretty sure because whenever my husband and I are she's having sex. Like, we should get sex, rid of this peanut butter, just me and you. well whenever she whenever my husband and i are having sex look at her that's her that's her oh you turned into a freak bro that's her turn her natural form that's her fucking my three-year-old are you also watching soccer how hispanic of you is that what that was on the the tv screen um (laughs) that was probably a commercial honestly i i don't watch soccer (laughs) <laughs> that's funny um, you have two corgis i have two corgis okay that's awesome yeah so she was and the other one not a sexual i'm assuming no we neutered Thank him <laughs> so it's your so husband's she, dog so she, <laughs> so she will like i hope he's at the show so i can meet him later shake his hand it's all he cool will, he, all right cool he will be <laughs> so whenever we fuck like she will yeah. stare at us Mm-hmm. Or she will like paw at the door to be Damn. let into the room. Yo, like that. Yes. All right, that's pretty crazy. Like she wants to. She's fuck trying to get so involved. Bad. Yo. She wants to have a threesome. Yeah, she's trying to get it on. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> you guys want to like have a threesome? How long have you had the dog? She's nine months old. What a freak! Oh my god! I know, and we can't neuter her. Where'd you get her from? Like R. Kelly's a breeder. House? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. R. Kelly's house. Oh, I couldn't think of something fast enough. It's the first R. freakiest person. I could think of poor baby. Uh, that's wild. Yeah, no, my, she's I have insane. a dog. Uh, I have a German Shepherd. Yeah, uh, her name's Hazel. She's pretty cool. Uh, Is she a freak? No, man. Anytime I'm having sex, she's like looking at me. Like if like if I'm doing like not with her, obviously, but not only sometimes. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, when I'm like doing it with like, my not partner, white. she'll just be like looking at me, and she'll she's like, "Why are you hurting this person? Like, please stop!" Like the, just anxiety. Like the I'm, other dog uh, will literally like if it, like. We don't even have to like tell him or like get him off the bed or anything. <laughs> like if my husband as soon as and he I, starts, he's like, like I it, gotta get that. Yes, out of here. he's just like, oh, you fucking heathens! Yeah, like you're that's, disgusting. That's how it should be. Yeah, yeah. Like be. he's just like respectful and not even respectful. He's just like you guys are disgusting. Like I'm getting the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, that's so funny. I don't uh, like. I have my my girl has like a cat too. It's like my girl's cat will be like on the bottom of the bed. We'll be doing it, and I don't really like the cat that much. <laughs> Cause that cat like raped my kitten. It's like a long story. I fucking hate that cat. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's like her baby, so like I don't disrespect it in front of her. <laughs> but we'll but like, like when she's gone, you'll kick no, it. No, but like when we're doing it and stuff, and I know he's at the bottom of the bed, and I'm like, yeah, and I like push him off with my foot, like, "Watch out, I'm about to fuck your mom." <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, and just some part of me, like deep down, just really likes that. I don't know. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm like, you know, I could be a stepdad one day. <laughs> you know, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's what it's like. I, uh, no, yeah, she, oh, she, like, constantly, like, if we, like, get her off the bed, she will, like, if she hears any kissing mm. noises oh or goodness. anything, like, yep. she will come rushing into the bedroom. Yeah. Like, I, I want in. I want yeah, in. That's I what gives in. my dog going, too, is, like, when she hears kisses, she'll, like, come into the room, and then she'll not, like, what she sees, I'm like, well, motherfucker, you came in here, <laughs> like, what do you want? I don't know. I, I guess it's just, we should stop kissing our dogs and doing oral. I don't know. It's <laughs> just one or the other. I don't. Yes. <laughs> like, I literally ran out of vibrators. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, after three, I'm like, God, how many do you have? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I ran. She she ran. Me, I ran out of vibrators. You should, you should give her a pocket pussy, see if she's bisexual, see if she eats that. <laughs> She is bis. Well, she's she is bisexual. Didn't you see how she was humping my dog? Oh, it's a girl. Your other dog's a girl too. No, my other dog is a boy. Oh, and she's eating. My lady humps me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't well. keep a straight face. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. So what year? Uh, what year did you go to high school? What year did you graduate? Twenty sixteen. Me too. Let's go. That's a good ass year. Yeah, that Hell was yeah. a good ass year. I got. I would get so drunk. Are we? Can we put on music in the background while we talk? Is that possible? No. No. I just wanted to put on thirty seconds of something that reminded me of twenty sixteen. Oh, fucking Drake! 
<laughs> no, but the fact that you said Drake's hilarious. No. 2016 Drake. 2016 Drake was what's up. I always think of the freshman freestyle. You remember that? 2016 freshman freestyle? Yeah. I don't know if you're into hip hop like that or rap, but it was like all of like the ignorant like SoundCloud goats that we love. <laughs> like it was like little Uzi, Yachty. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Everybody little is on there. It was so funny. Lil. Yeah. yeah. I just love that because Kodak starts on the beat. It's like, like he's like, hey, who the fuck picked this old sorry ass beat? <laughs> he just like says, that's like if I came on this podcast and I was like, man, who picked this shitty oh, ass God, studio? <laughs> like, it's just so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would never do that. And like, for him to do that, can I'm like, we, the track. Can we play music? As long as we talk if over it. If you talk over it. it. Yeah, you gotta talk we over to, it. We have to, yeah, we have to yeah, constantly to talk over it. Yeah, I know. It, that makes it a remix or a parody. Which is almost disrespectful to Beyonce, right? It is. <laughs> This was this the number is, one song in 2016. Let's go. Oh, all right. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. This, this reminds me yeah. of um, I was in 2016. I was just like drunk every day. Yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Which is That's so fucked up because I was a minor. Uh, well, not a minor, but mm -hmm. I was a. Uh, not of old enough of to drink. Yeah, no, seriously, no. I get that. Yeah. yeah. That song reminds me of like wishing I wasn't a virgin. <laughs> I was like, yo, <laughs> one of these days, dog. Like Beyonce, bro, it's gonna it's gonna happen. <laughs> that song reminds me of getting fucked with a popsicle. Jesus. <laughs> <what> the... <laughs> Who put a popsicle up there, yo? Oh, my ex boyfriend. That's wild. That's wild. I don't know how I didn't get like a UTI or something. I mean, he definitely <laughs> gave crazy. me something you used to date else. That's crazy. You like or something? Like what the fucking like, no, you love guy? No, <laughs> I, I just was insane. Oh, okay. I just had untreated bipolar disorder. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't know, dude, put a popsicle up there. <laughs> You're like, you should stop taking my temperature in my mouth and take a temperature in my fucking... <laughs> I was just nuts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I could see that. No. <laughs> Man, I, I, should, just I guess wasn't on I should medicine. ask my girl, like, hey, you ever want a popsicle up there or something? Don't like, do that to her. I don't know. I she, does she have thought. untreated bipolar disorder? No, no. Okay, I just, then don't do that to her. No, I, so any bipolar girl, I should, they, I should assume they want a popsicle up there. If their they pussy. have untreated bipolar disorder, maybe. All right. I got a few phone calls to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it was funny. pretty crazy. Yeah. I did. Uh, I had like tequila out of my belly belly button and shit <laughs> no, a lot of never. a lot of shit 2016 was like i don't know just like hanging out with friends smoking weed and just fuck i do that now all right <laughs> 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 i'm like yeah when you realize you have barely grown at all i'm like oh yeah you know what <laughs> pretty good uh nice <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh -oh. 2016 was good stuff, man. I just remember graduating and being like, I'm so happy I don't have to come back. I went, uh, actually started my senior year in Florida. So I moved around a lot as a kid. Oh, yeah. And, uh, like, my senior year started in Florida. And I'd been the new kid so many times, I was like over it. So, like, that year I was like, headphones in. I'm not talking to nobody. And then what I came What was it like going to school in Florida? It was, it was weird, man. I went to, I went in Seminole. Uh, so Pinellas County. It's like the inside of Florida. And uh, with that, it was like 50 50, like half poor, like swamp kids, and like the other half, like mommy and daddy got them cool with like a boat. Like there was like a pink Camaro with like pink rims in the in the parking lot there. It was like some girl who was like just thought she was all that in a bag of shits, <laughs> you know? But it was cool. I mean, I'm not a lot of the white girls, like white girls had booty. I don't know what it was about Florida white women, but they were there, they had cake. They're putting something in the water. <laughs> I don't know what it was. PFAS. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> it was just PFAS like, the whole strong. time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay strong. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna want to prove. <laughs> like, no, here I am in Iowa now. I got like a small town girlfriend. She's from like. <laughs> We're all corn fed here. Yeah, literally. Yeah. So, um, how long have you been doing stand up for? Uh, I've been in stand up for two years and some change. I think. Yeah, just like I hit two years in like April. I think. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty All fun. here in Iowa, or where'd you begin? Yeah, well, if we want to get technical, uh, I started, I did like seven open mics in like Salt Lake City, uh, Wise Guys. Uh, they did like every Tuesday or something, but mm -hmm. that was like right before a pandemic, like 2019. Mm -hmm. And then it got shut down, everything was closed. I did like my, my year inside or whatever, and then uh, I was talking to a homie out here who lived, I met in Florida actually, ironically, and he lived out here, and he was like, hey man, come to Iowa, like, we never closed. <laughs> like, <and I> was <laughs> like, <laughs> no, Kim Reynolds was like, was yeah, like... yeah, literally, yeah. 
told me all about it. So I was like, all right, cool. So I came out, uh, came out here, and then uh, his uh, his uncle does comedy out here. So I just kind of went to like Lefty's open mic. It was like my first one. Shout out Lefty's. It's not around anymore, uh, but yeah, it was like the it was like the best worst open mic ever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I went there, bombed for my for my due time, and then just put in the time, got started my mics and got better. Yeah, it works like that. Yeah, for sure. I um, actually I started doing this podcast first mm -hmm. and then shout out uh, Benny the Jet. He is a, a rapper. He sounds like he should be a rapper. That's a good yeah, ass name. That's Benny his, the Jet? Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Benny. <laughs> yes. All right. And he, I told him like on the podcast mm -hmm. back when I first was like doing this on my own yeah. that I wanted to be a stand-up comedian for like my whole life. It's really? like what I wanted to do. Oh, that's cool. Because my dad. You did podcasting before you did stand-up? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I, I, I wanted to do stand-up like my entire life. Like uh -huh. I grew up with like, well, you know, like Teo Gonzalez. The stand nope. like Mexican stand up comedian. Mm -mm. My dad was a performer. Oh, my whole yeah. life. My dad was a musician. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So I grew up like in the entertainment business. Yeah. And my parents yeah. owned businesses. Mm -hmm. So Can like you sing? No. <laughs> You're like, but I got jokes. <laughs> but I had that craving for yeah. attention. Yeah. yeah that was and good to you. Yep, yep. yeah. And I couldn't sing. And gotcha. I yeah. What so, made you like? What gave you that push? Like you're like, I'm gonna go to my open mic. Or, like I'm gonna try. I, this, like, finally. well, he told me that there was an open mic. Yeah. And I was sitting at the yacht club now joystick. Oh yeah. Okay. I've been there. So, um, he told me about it, and I was like, bet. Yeah. So I went, and your first time, like, you don't do bad your first time. I've seen people do terrible. Okay. <laughs> it just well, depends. I didn't Everyone's do bad my first that's time. That's good. Yeah, no. I didn't great. do bad my first time. My second time, though, I ate shit. Yeah. And then my, th okay, you know, you know how it goes. Like, for the I first, like. like I did trash my first time. What, what, that night, was that night, was, like, special? Was there anything going on in your life where you're just like, nah, like, as no, soon as you found out, you're like, immediate, hot. I got this right. Just high? <laughs> <laughs> I was just hot. I'm not a drinker like that. I got drunk that night, my first time going. And yeah. Like, uh, I was with like my ex, and we had been together since I was like like from like 18 to like 21 or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so like we broke up, and I was like really not feeling good. Like I was like in a, like a low place, and uh, she like asked me like really like before we broke up, she's like, "What do you want to do? Like, is there anything you want?" Like I, I was like obviously like flags of like you're gonna get broken up with. <laughs> what do you want? Like you can do anything in life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she was like, you know, like, what makes you happy? Like, what, what's something you always wanted to do? And I was like, honestly, like, I've always, like, kind of wanted to do stand-up. And that was, like, the first time I said it out loud. Uh, and then we broke up, went through all this, and, like, I started making changes in my life, like, and I just found out about the Open Mic Wise Guys, and I just, I went there, and, uh, but I was, like, Heineken, like, deep. So I was, like, four, maybe. And, like, I'm not a drinker, so, like, that's drunk for me. Like, I was mm -hmm. fucked up. Yeah. Uh, so I went up there, and, like, kind of bombed, kind of didn't, like, did whatever. Someone was, like, trying to, like, show sympathy, like, claps for me, like, oh, like, it's okay, your girlfriend broke up, and I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 like, it's, like, not good. Uh, and then, like, after that, I just started writing a lot more, and mm -hmm. then, uh, like, right, dude, it sucked, because I remember feeling that feeling, like, I did my, one of my best sets was, like, the seventh time doing it, like, I was getting better, 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 and, like, I actually, to where I stayed, well, I was like, damn, I did not do terrible, like, I did kind of good, and then it was, like, quarantine, we're shutting everything down, don't do stand-up for a year, and I was like, ah, I just started getting the hang of it. That's then, uh, a suck. Yeah. Yeah. I um, started in like August of 2020, mm. like thick of the pandemic. Again, mm. we did not close. Oh. Kimmy yeah. Reynolds was like. <laughs> yeah. She's like, keep this open. I'm trying to drink. <laughs> yeah. Literally. She's yeah. like, margaritas to go. Yeah. I've heard. <laughs> I've never like, seen a picture of her. I'm going to be honest with you. I've lived here in Iowa for like two years. Dude. I've done, she looks like you show a me, I won't be that mad. Like, I don't care. But like, dude. I've, I've never got out of my way to look at her She face. looks like literally like. like she if reminds my, me of like if in my head, if I could like picture her, it's like. She looks like a Karen. <laughs> like she just looks like a Karen. I just picture like a really angry like librarian. Like she's mad she's not a yes. bus driver anymore. Like she got too many complaints. <laughs> now she's a librarian. And she just has like the wrinkles of one, but like the body type of like a bus driver. No, no? she's really but, thin. Ah, her name is misleading. No, look okay. at her. Oh, she looks angry. She looks mean as fuck, dog. She is mean as fuck. God, she looks like she hasn't came in ages. <laughs> she's. She looks like if she did bust, it'd be like just fucking dust coming out. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. God, she looks. I can see why she wants a drink. Mm-hmm. Damn. 
That is a Karen. That's a Karen. That's a that's Karen a, if I've ever seen one. Oh, fuck yeah. Maybe that's just a mean picture of her, man. See, is there one with her smiling? Let's do her some justice. <laughs> like, Or just every time a camera come out, she just, her soul dies a little bit. Uh, but yeah. I'll find it. You'll find it. You'll find it. One smiling exists. Oh, there she is. Where? Oh, yeah. See that? She looks like Willy Wonka. Yeah, that's that fresh one. off her baby blood dosage. She's, baby she's blood happy right dosage. there, dude. She's, like, she's feeling good right there. <laughs> yeah. That's her happy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see both sides. Gotta see both sides of the coin, you know? Oh, God. That's but, yeah. fucking funny. So. 2016, we're same age you born, like 98. Yeah, yeah, 90, yeah. great, bro. It's a good fucking year, man. It is. It is. Who's your Who's your favorite like artist, like growing up? Like, what would you listen to? What? <sighs> your first generation. We're gonna have different answers. <laughs> so I started listening to Lana Del Rey when I okay. was like 12. All right, I like that. And I'm actually seeing her in concert at Lollapalooza. You're so excited to say that. I am so excited. <laughs> what kind of music you like growing up? Uh, next week, I can't tell you what I, I can't wait to, wait to tell you what I'm doing next week. <laughs> what do you do? No. Oh. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Um. Yeah. Well. That's cool. I I love her like yeah. a lot, but besides like her, I like um. What do I like? I don't know. You got that's that's mainly What's she's. Like, you didn't run around the house like singing something. Like I would like jump on the table and like sing Usher lyrics when I was a kid. Like to me, let it burn. I was like just <laughs> I was just feeling it myself. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it depends. Like it really depends what I'm in the mood for. Like yeah. if I like, yeah. I don't know. Like I like cumbias. I like. Yeah, yeah, See, you that's know cool. what I mean. Like I, I like, like I like corridos if I have to yes. listen to some some good Hispanic Corri shit. Yeah, yeah that corridos. Should, that should I like. Bangs. Yeah. Yes, it absolutely. Bangs. If gangster rap were to translate to anything, that's like yes, cool what absolutely. It would be. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Probably I like it. Yeah. You know, I For could sure. listen to anything from like Junior Ache to mm -hmm. like. Yeah, literally, I listen to anything from Junior Ache to Lana Del Rey. Oh, okay, like, cool. You like Bad Bunny? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I on. do. I love Bad Bunny. Where's the hate? I feel it. There's no hate. Where's the salt? There's no, no salt. salt? All right. No salt, no hate. I just don't listen to him as much as everybody else. Okay. All right. Who's brown like me. Okay. <laughs> you don't like Puerto Ricans or what? Oh, see? Oh, you got angry. shut up, bean salad. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rican what are you a offended. plantain? I can't Puerto say Rican that. him got yeah, offended, I, but yeah. the German in him is plotting. <laughs> 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 I'm Italian too, but hell. Oh, I see Italian. Shut up, Mein Kampf. <laughs> He's going to make comfort food when he's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm just kidding. Um, so what's your favorite part about being a stand up comedian? Uh, my favorite part, man. I don't know, my favorite part that's hard. It's, I guess it's more of like uh just like getting to know that I'm I'm doing something that I like. Like it just I just feel good. Like it's almost like a selfish feeling like yeah. if I'm doing good and they enjoyed my set, like I feel good with that. Like even not like the pay is probably always gonna be terrible till it's either amazing or it's terrible. Like it's yeah. just like how it goes, but I don't know. I just, I just like the fact that someone could come up to me who I'd never talked to in a million years. They'd mm -hmm. never try to reach out to me or be my friend, but they could shake my hand and be like, "I enjoyed what you did up there. Like, thank mm -hmm. you. like that was funny." And I'm like, "Cool, person I'd never talked to in my life. Thank you." And like that, yes. there's something I think about that, or like people who would like disagree. Like, I, I said this when I first started, but like left and right, or like just people who would like, like where I come from, and people from like Iowa and stuff. Like, I try to write my jokes to where like everyone can laugh, no matter where you come from. And if I could bring that together, like that's just something that comedy special for. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cheesy ass answer. I couldn't make it funny. <laughs> 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 we should say the worst thing about what's your worst thing? What's your like least favorite thing about being a stand up comedian? The worst thing about yeah. being a stand up comedian? Um, probably how clicky it can be. Clicky? Yeah. yeah don't be like that then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No. Uh, no, I'm... I just mean like I I just say I don't I see that though. I see it in the scene really bad. And it I, is. I try to stay to myself so much because of that problem. Like I, just, I don't. I I, yeah. I seek out people uh -huh. who I notice aren't like that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the, I so think the better way I, to do business. I I try to not be like that. Mm. Um. And if I because if I don't like you, mm. you will know. Oh, okay. Make it you make it apparent. All I right. Make okay. It known. You mean girl? You bitchy? Oh, I'm so fucking mean. <laughs> That's so crazy. I could see it. How could I be surprised? A Spanish girl has it like could just flip. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> so surprised. It's a twist. 
<laughs> That's funny. That's cool. I think my least far- my favorite part about being a comedian, I think it's like the temperature change. You know, like when like like you'll do really good. You're like like I'll have like a host set or like not even a host set really, but like just a good set. Like you know, sixty people are like laughing, enjoying everything I'm saying, and I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, like I'm just so in touch. And then like I'll come out of that, I'll go to work or like talk to like a homeowner like for my job or like uh, like my girl even, and like. It doesn't matter. Like I'm, like I'm, I'm on this high of like I'm so fucking funny, and I walk in the door. I'm like, "What's up?" And she's like, "What's up?" Fucking shut up, unfunny, annoying ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like that shit. That was like a woof. Yeah. That's like a that one hits me sometimes. Yeah, I can, I feel that yeah. because like I don't like to share like what I do for. I'll I don't like to share what I do like for my day job. Yeah, I'm very vague about it, but people ask me, I'll say it. I don't care. Yeah, I'm very vague, like, mm-hmm. or what I, for what I say, mm-hmm. like, like on social media and stuff, like, I'll never say it or anything, mm-hmm. um, but because I just, like, I like to be private with that stuff, but, um, yeah, that's just one thing that I like to keep extremely mm-hmm. separate because of, like, the nature of my work, yeah. and so, like, a lot you of- get caught up is what you're saying. We don't have to keep talking. HR's listening. <laughs> no, and the thing is, is that like, like that, like my my work knows mm-hmm. about like what I do, and that I'm a comic, and I have a podcast, and like they know all about it, and they yeah. like they they're very supportive, and like you know I take PTO for shows and oh, and stuff cool. like that, That's and nice. like and you know they're super supportive, and they're supportive about me like not burning myself out, and like nice. things like that, which is like awesome. Where do you like, work? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll just fuck with you. I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah. But um, but it is like hard sometimes to like kind of I do find it difficult to almost put a stop to mm-hmm. being professional because mm-hmm. it bleeds into my comedy sometimes. Like into my yeah, because sometimes yep, like I like I was meeting with a venue mm-hmm. to because i produce shows mm-hmm. as i'm producing the show that you're on tonight Shout out tonight Willow super Creek excited yeah Thank um you. and so i was meeting with a venue um and they were like mm. they kind of didn't believe that i was a comic really yeah they were like oh <laughs> are like you're the event producer right like i'm like oh yeah i'm a comedian as well and they're like oh you're a comedian like because i was i had just gotten off work and i okay, was like I still in like it. oh yeah my professional khakis. clothes on stuff too yeah and i had yeah, like you my... do have bank teller vibes a yes bit. yeah for sure yeah. yeah so i was like so like i sometimes it like bleeds into yeah. that and so yeah sometimes it's just like you hear that mel Mackey joke that uh, customer service <laughs> yeah, like, yeah i get, love I that joke of hers yeah. Can I get anything for you or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, she's so funny. I love her. Yeah, Shout out. Stuff. Friend of the pod, Mel Shout Mackey. Mel. No, Shout she's been on Mel. here before. Only referencing people who've been on here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> Jobs, whatever. I feel like if he can help you do comedy, do it. I mean, it's a rat yeah. race. We're all doing it. I regardless. do. I, d- I will say, since HR is listening, um, yeah. I do love my job. Shout out. I love my job, too. I'm sure someone will listen. Yeah. yeah, I fucking, I like, I knock doors, like, too, sometimes, like, for my job. So, like, I'll, I'll tell you, I just contract roofs and shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, so, I like, uh, so I knock doors on the occasion, like, uh, be like, hey, what's up? Help your neighbor out, get that, see if I can help you with the roof. Just kind of, like, just see if I could help them. Mm-hmm. And, but some people fucking hate you if you're a stranger knocking on their door. And to come from, like, last night being loved by everybody who hear you tell a joke to, like, a door slammed in your face, like, fuck you, <laughs> boom, boom, it's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that fucking Tee's sucks. Comedy Club, come out if you don't have like, you know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, what are you supposed to say after that? Yeah, yeah, that does suck. Yeah, but it's it is what it is. I mean, it's it's fun. It's fun yeah, sometimes it, I think like it keeps at you humble, work, like you need it really. True. Yeah. Sometimes at work, like people will ask me like, oh, like what are your plans this weekend? And I'll be like, oh, I have a show, mm. and they're like, what? Like you're doing what? what? Kind of show? Yeah. Like 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 you're. You're a stand up comedian. Yeah. Like, that's insane. Like, I, I would have never guessed. I love to that, though. I love to, like, say I have a show and let them guess what I am. <laughs> it's always rapper, I have a clown show. musician, or singer. I have when, a clown show. A clown show. <laughs> 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 I have, like, a kitten circus. I like, <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Hot topics. Hot topics. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, that reminds me of my mom just not being home. <laughs> just, I'm feeding myself tonight, bro. Hot pockets all day. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Single mom shit, dude. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's on the stove, son. <laughs> Just leave it there. I'll get it when I'm ready. <laughs> uh, what's the topic? What's the hot? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're making Sloppy Joe's. Yeah. What's the What's the hot topic? The hot topic. The hot topic today is uh. the billionaire adventurer who was killed on board the. Oh, the yeah. So right. we. So of course. We got to talk about the billionaire squid billies at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. That's like the most expensive death. That's got to go top three most expensive death, right? Like that's it's, – it's a pretty hard flex though to die doing something no one else could ever even dream of doing. <laughs> well, apparently their death was like really quick. Dude, I heard the boy was scared to go. Like the son wasn't his idea, didn't want to go. He was yeah. like talking to his aunt like crying like I don't want to go. I'm really terrified. If that was me, I don't know if – if I'm just like that, but I would be letting my parents know I blame them when I die. <laughs> like, I'm like, you brought me on this. I hate everything about this. You're lucky I don't just jump off right now. <laughs> like, like, I'm guilt tripping, dude. No way. <laughs> jump off the submarine, huh? Yeah, dude. I don't want to be here in the first place like this. Yeah. Dude. I'm not going to life a pie a submarine with them. No way. Yeah, it, it was a 19-year-old, though. It was, he did it for like a Father's Day. Oh, really? Yeah. The dad was like, but it's Father's Day. You, you know what the saddest part about that is? Is that there was like 700 immigrants who like got yeah. into the bottom of the ocean, like Greek ocean, like trying to like get to like a better country, better life. No one even talks about them. Like that has not hit the news once. And I think that's the reason for all the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yep. And the yeah. insensitivity. That's why they called them billionaire squid billies. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like just really broke people i mean it's just like it just goes to show you like whether you're broke or rich like you can still drown <laughs> like no, no they no, they no got, money can they stop you from drowning they, got, <laughs> they, did they didn't drown. they didn't even drown they, they definitely did not drown they didn't even yeah. drown it was they like got a, imploded the way it was Whoa, described to what? me it was like it's like a reverse grenade yeah yeah like the the pressure <laughs> of the thing just collapsed on them in like right. a millisecond and they are just all just dead tanking. immediately red all right paste. then yeah yeah I mean, that's food for the real squids, you know? That's like, <laughs> I guess so. They are, yeah, they are They're at, at the bottom of at the ocean the Titanic. Right now. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're part of the Titanic. They, but, I mean, that's what they were exploring. <laughs> yeah, so. dude, that's crazy. Next time someone goes, they'll probably, like, run into them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they're like, hey, found them. <laughs> that's crazy. And on our right, yeah. we'll have, we see the billionaire yeah. squid billies. Yeah. Our, recent, our recent edition. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's going to be terrible. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't care. No, and I don't. Uh, I can't say I care. Do you think I give a fuck? Because I don't. I never once got the impression that you did. I feel like I don't. that was for somebody out there. I care who's about the I care about the refugees. Yeah, HR. She don't give a fuck. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you clarified because I thought you cared. Yeah, I care about the I refugees. Thought, thought you cared a lot oh, about the billionaires. No, I care about the 19 year old who didn't want to go. Yeah, poor 19 year old. <sighs> that guy who like done it a million times. You know what I mean? The guy who's like done that trip, gone down, taken people up. The CEO, yeah. Hey, so I, I pulled this up. So this is a this is a um, a simulation of what it looked like when the thing oh, no. collapsed on itself. Oh shit! Oh. Oh, okay. So it's painless. So I mean, it was it was literally <laughs> it was like that's, that's kind of disappointing that it was painless. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, how are you just gonna vanish like that, dude? You're not gonna suffer a little bit, right? Well, like they didn't even know that it was gonna happen. Like it, like it happened so fast before Whoa. their like brains could even process the fact that, like, the guy driving literally dying. was like, "What's that noise?" <laughs> just... Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Damn, kind of sucks. Kind of wanted them like suffer a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked. Yeah, for sure, definitely Hispanic. It's like your ex or something. You're like. <laughs> Are you sure they didn't cry? Honestly, <laughs> okay. I have to talk. I, I have to speak on this. Yeah. I have caught my ex stalking me on burner accounts multiple times. You bring this up on my episode where I'm on this. <laughs> bring up your drama. <laughs> some stalker. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm not. No, let's talk about him, bro. It's me and you right now, dude. <laughs> Follow me, anime underscore Jorge. Come to Teehee's Comedy Club, bro. We could talk about it. Buy some tickets to the show. 
Um, you know what? No, you're crazy. right. I it's mean, probably it's, what he wants is for me to talk about it on the podcast because you know that he watches every episode. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Yeah. I got you, bro. Don't trip. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's me and you, bro. It's all good. <laughs> no, it's so funny yeah. though. No, I mean it's it's a normal thing to do. I mean, like, is that I feel it, like though? well, if you like, if you're already curious about your ex in your mind, like, if it takes any rent in your space, if you're already like. Oh, that reminds me of that person. Oh, that that person was one time in my life. But to make burner account, okay. Yeah, no, thing, now it's it's one it's thing weird. to make a burner yeah. account. Sorry, but bro, I couldn't message. help you. It's weird. <laughs> but to message. Yeah. Message. Yes, message. What's he saying? I miss fucking your tight little pussy. All right, cap. Pull it up. Pull it up. I want to see on the big screen. <laughs> see this text message history. No way. So, yes. dude. Yes. Guys are just. Uh, why don't girls reach out? Why don't my ex be reaching out? Like, I miss that average sized fucking. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm going to. Should I text this to you? I miss you and your Alex? really good listening skills. <laughs> oh, we're really pulling this up on the big screen, huh? If you want. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm following your lead. Well, oh, we didn't have to, but if we're going to prove to everybody, no, nah, don't give them the clout. I don't, I don't want to give them the clout. Well, he deleted the whole. Um, He's already gotten it all. <laughs> he. Oh God, I have to like go. Do we so, have more waters? I will keep fake sipping this. <laughs> I got a beer. No thanks. I gotta perform. I would though, bro. What kind of beer? <laughs> uh, let me check the mini fridge. I'm like, nah, I can't, man. What kind? <laughs> All right, let's see. This is the this is the real. <laughs> he My deleted the account. Still gets to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Oh shit! Want a seltzer? Oh, it's funny. Is that alcohol? actually? I yeah. want that. No, she can have that. Let her have that. She called in. Knows what it is. I do. I've got beers. Nah, I'm good. Sorry, we ran out of beers. Here, you can have half of this. Good, good. I just no. I got cotton mouth. I'm not even thirsty. <laughs> it's really good and refreshing. I and I I can't have a lot of it. Is there alcohol in it? Yes. All right, I'm taking the first sips. If that's okay with you. It's like. Four percent. Here, alcohol. give him, give him that. Four percent. Give him. It's three too many, dude. No, don't. I'm jarring. Me too. That's why I wiped it. There we go. All right, let's try this. Is this a sponsor for the podcast, or should we not say what we're drinking? This, <laughs> this is the <laughs> mango mustache uh, seltzer or something. <laughs> Can I have a wipe? Okay, I'm not that much of a germ freak as you. you. I'm more of a germ freak because you put your fingers in the cup I'm about to drink than I was the I, dust in there. My fingers are clean. I've heard everything you've said so far on this podcast. Your <laughs> fingers are not clean. You drink out that cup if your fingers are clean. Let me drink that then. And then he no. just <laughs> Yeah, see? He saw it, tricked okay. it, got it. Okay, That's Karen. pretty fair to me. That's what I thought too. My hands are clean. I, you're going to make me drink out of a cup you fingered right now? I think that's what you're making <laughs> so me do. So you can have you the can? Tri- you yeah. tricked me into this. Quite the host. Quite the host. <laughs> I don't want the dusty cup. <laughs> I was trying to get the dust I don't want the, the finger cup. We're like two different kind of germ freaks. <laughs> <laughs> he was fine with the dust. <laughs> Just not the finger. <laughs> I really was. I was like, no, I'm cool with anything. Don't worry about it. She's like... <laughs> and I'm like, nah, I guess I'm not cool with anything. I should be careful what I say. <laughs> I don't want the dust. It's okay. You know what? I like water. <laughs> so it's like, I'll just wait. Don't even worry about it. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip and be like, this is disgusting. I <laughs> 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 waterfall watch. Talent. Now you're fine. Oh, you guys are so Hispanic. <laughs> that shit tastes like it comes with chamoy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that comes with Lucas. That's delicious, though. Not it bad. is. My yeah. husband uh, works for a company that distributes the kind okay. of beer. Shout out to your husband's company who distributes this type of beer. So, yeah. So this happened one day. I uh, like a couple months ago. That. It doesn't even matter, dude. That guy. I mean, I, I feel. I feel for him. I feel like when you lose a good lay, you lose a good lay, dog. <laughs> Sorry, bro. But it, it was years ago. Ah, he's got to move on. Maybe he's gay. Well, I said, last time I enjoyed sex was years ago. <laughs> but I he doesn't want to accept like, being gay. He is da- he is dating no someone, and she's hot. Hotter yeah. than me. 
like, gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just I, don't know. I don't understand. I, I don't know. know. I don't creep on my on my ex's account. I don't. Anymore. I mean, <laughs> nah. I think it's a normal thing to do at first, like you know, when you're getting over I mean, somebody. Yeah, but if it's been getting, years, you but gotta I mean, it's look after been, yourself. I've been right? married for two years. I had to think about it for a second. Okay. Um, <laughs> Where'd you meet your husband at, by the way? He helped me move in to my apartment. He was a mover. He, no, he like I had just, just some dude. No, okay, so he was a friend of my friend's baby daddy, and he just, like, happened to be there when I was moving into my apartment, <laughs> and All he right, was, like, like, I'll third help. party adjacent. Yes. <laughs> like, he was, like, I'll, I'll help you move in. Okay. Yeah. And then you're, like, I know what else you could put in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was move, like, I know what else you can. Nice. I was like, I know what else you can move in. Yeah. To. I like the way you put that box there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I get it. Yeah. So. But he's a white guy, huh? Yeah. You gotta love these white guys in Iowa, man. They will help you move no matter what. I know. <laughs> I'll let these guys know in like a three day notice, two days notice, and they'll just be there for me. Yeah. I, like I was that. like, yeah, you can come colonize this pussy, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> colonizing <laughs> pussy. I didn't hear it. At first. We're colonizing some pussy. <laughs> it's funny. Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you full like blooded like Michoacan? Like your family yeah. from somewhere else too? Just all there. Oh. Nice. Michoacan. Nice. Michoacan. I got like twenty five percent from like Jalisco. No. Uh, well, I'm my my dad is uh, his family's from Guanajuato as well, but. Caminos de Michoacan. Guanajito? Guanajuato. Guanajuato? No, I've never even heard that for sure. That sounds like almost an offensive way of saying someone's name. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a little kid, they, uh, my uncles were like, they would always teach me all like the bad words and shit. My mom would like try to get me not to, so I'd walk around and be like, hoto, hoto, hoto. <laughs> and I'd just say that like without even knowing what it was. And my, I was like, mom, what's that? She's like, don't say that. It just means like sissy boy. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I would just use it like sissy boy. Oh, hold on, hold on. And I just got in trouble like really bad at school. And they're like, yo, are these over here being homophobic. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's Pride Month. I'm like, I'm calling it to girls too. Like how? <laughs> yeah, I just That's called her a sissy so boy. Because she's a tomboy. <laughs> <That's so laughs> to me, in my mind, it made sense. I was like, it's good math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for our show tonight. Yeah, it's going to be sick. Yeah. Is this your first time headlining? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I've done 25. I've done 20 before, but never, like, headlining. Like, for 30, dude, I'm just emptying the clip, basically. I got almost every joke that I like. Yeah. It's It'll be, be fun. It'll be, be fun. Time. Everybody you put on are, like, your friends, other comedians in the scene. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, because I don't recognize everybody. I've seen them before, I'm pretty sure. Like, Joystick. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, they are my friends, but... Yeah, they are comedians in the scene. Okay. Okay, one second. Comedians first or friends second? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> comedians burp. front. Comedians first. Okay. That's right. my... Hate them as people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> terrible people. Yeah. Um, no, they're cool. Yeah, no. Um, my thing is, like, you got to make me laugh. If You got to well, make me genuinely yeah, so. laugh. Yeah, if I'm putting yeah. you on a show... Good. I'm not just putting you yeah, on a show you as a put friend. Me on a show without even like seeing me like fully. Like you haven't even seen like a large set of mine. I think you've seen like five minutes, ten minutes here and there. I yeah. yeah. But to be honest, like I'm being racist. <laughs> You're like, yo, the Hispanic in the scene, I see his name the most. There's a Z on the end of his last name. Let's get him in here. <laughs> I'm I'm being racist. Yeah, like no, I want to you know what? Like I wanted to steal you. I'm literally like that. Like, uh, like if I can get an opportunity uh, because of being Hispanic, mm-hmm. awesome. I'll take affirmative it, action. Like, yeah, literally, I'll take whatever I can get. But like, I affirmative action you. Yeah, that, I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that's like the, my favorite time being profiled. That's like my the best time. Plus, podcast, like please. I wanted you on the podcast, and oh, I thanks. wanted you to come do time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fuck it. Why not fucking just have him headline? Hell like, yeah. Why I appreciate not? that. Thank like, you. Yeah, plus, like, time. Willow Creek is a fun, it's a fun little club. Yeah, yeah there he is. Fun little too, right? theater. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, man. Yeah, yeah he is, he's coming back in September. Hey, nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He's so funny. My girl sees him on TikTok. 
<laughs> She's like scrolling. She's like, this is Darius. I'm like, yeah. I just get all hype every time. Um, <laughs> next segment. Transitioning. What cartoons did you watch as a kid? Um, Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. You were 104 <laughs> days of summer vacation, weren't you? There's you 104 <laughs> days of summer vacation. Hey, have you heard cool. the uh, the controversy of his new show? No, he's got what? a new show. Primos. Nah. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. yeah. So he's working on a show with Disney called Primos. What? And, uh, and everybody's pretty mad because they're like saying the stuff wrong and... and uh, um, uh, they're like culture appropriate, but not even correctly. Right. Well, so so the big controversy really came out though because they were talking about, um, well, the 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 voice actress who voices the the mm-hmm. main character in the show, the main mm-hmm. kid. She was like, "I'm so grateful that my parents came over here and gave me the opportunities and left that shithole country." Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. You, I'll pull up the tweet. <sighs> They don't have that many days of summer in Mexico, I guess. Well, there's <laughs> too many days of summer. Yeah, literally. Yeah, oh, literally. <laughs> Actually, there's though. 365 days <laughs> of <laughs> summer. <laughs> Vacacion. How do you say vacation? ¿Cómo se dice? Vacaciones. Vacaciones. See, sí, fucking super close. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty amazing. You did seem like a Disney Channel kind of kid, though. All day, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That was oh, Cartoon yeah. Network. I was Cartoon Network like Nickelodeon. You're such a Cartoon Network. Yeah, vibes. you could feel it, huh? I I'm could sure. feel is it. it. Yeah. Is it because they would show Dragon Ball Z if yeah. it got late enough? I just stayed yeah. up long enough. I was like anime. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody yeah. for sure. <laughs> I got off when they were on deck. They were off. My, yeah. They were on deck. I was off ship. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, nah. My, oh, shit. So this is the this is the tweet from the the voice actress who who voices the main character on the show. Yo, mm. posted like real nostalgic so, picture and then was like that shithole country. Right. To come from them is my greatest talent. I've been fortunate enough to be working my with my my dream job. But if they had stayed put in their blank hole country, I would have been uh, alive. I I would not have been alive to have such marvelous dream jobs. Mm. Hashtag immigrants make America great. I think he could have said shithole circumstances. And it wouldn't have been as bad, but the fact that he said shithole country is just like, mm. yo, now you're speaking mm. out like this person obviously grew up in here. <laughs> so there's a couple other things though. So this is one of the uh, the characters on the show. Mm. Her oh, name is Coquita. <laughs> Oof. And so the people are pretty pissed about that too. It's pretty funny. It's pretty hilarious looking. Uh, it's like if like Russia tried to draw Dora. That looks like my bush. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, it's only a tiny picture, but you can see at the front of the selfie. That's the guy who does Phineas and Ferb, and he like voices uh, the, huh. the doctor. Okay. Well, whatever. Doctor uh, Doofenshmirtz. Yeah. Oh, Barry the Platypus. That's a good villain. That's a good villain. That is a good villain. I could dig it. It's not as good as Crocker from like Fairly Odd Parents, though. Yeah, that is. A Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, just tweaking all the time, dude. No one believed him. He was right the whole time. <laughs> I, feel, I feel for that guy, dude. I do too, man. He's poor, like, no, you don't understand this. Guy. Fucking kid's an idiot. He deserves F. He just, there's the fact that he's somehow here and getting all these things doesn't make sense. <laughs> right. My favorite episode is like when they uh when they gave uh they gave Chester uh <laughs> they gave Chester the, they're like like Timmy lost his fairly odd parents and then they gave it to some other kid and like who's the saddest kid in the world and it was like Chester he's like this poor like <laughs> redneck kid from like <laughs> like nothing like dirt Iowa yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then like he gets his uh gets his wish and he asks for like a hundred more trailers. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. That's so I funny. think that generation that we come from, like those cartoon, like really helped like mold our sense of humor for our generation. Yeah, absolutely. Like, them like a little bit younger than us, like then the farther you go, it does get like a little different. Mm-hmm. And I just think like SpongeBob seasons one through four is like made me who I am. Oh, like, absolutely. It's just good comedy. <laughs> yeah. I can't do <laughs> it. I'm so sorry. Sorry. My mom used to call Zach and Cody uh Los Coris. Los Coris. Los Coris. Andas viendo Los Coris. <laughs> That's a good one. Was your, was, your, was your parent the type to like, instead of calling for them, they'd whistle? <laughs> yeah, just like a loud whistle yeah. at all. Anytime, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that was so weird. I'm like, no yeah. other race treats Am us I like dogs. Dog? Yes, dude. <laughs> like, how are you whistling at me right now? My uncles would be like grown. They're like 17 years old at the park, like playing football with me. I'm like a kid and they'll hear their my grandma, their mom whistle from like miles away and they're like, like dogs. They're like, we gotta go, we gotta go right now. Fucking <laughs> like, scared too. <laughs> like strong, oh, that's dude. So funny. Yeah. So who's your favorite stand-up comedian? Or top three? 
Uh, can you narrow top it down? Three, yeah, I, I could do top three for sure. In no particular order. It's hard for me. Uh, I'm going to say this person, but they're not my favorite. But this is what introduced me to comedy like as a young age. Like uh-huh. growing up, I would walk around the house. Like Cat Williams yeah. to me was just like, I would walk around the house like, you know, in school, like pimp to crop to cut a light. <laughs> like just <laughs> uh, to me, he's just the funniest guy. He just, uh, he would dance and stuff on stage. He was so like active and just sweaty. And, like, you know, just really funny guy. Uh, and then I got older. And, like as I listen to comedy more and like I do it myself, I would say, I would say, you got to put like Bill Burr up there, dude. Yeah. You got to put like, I like Eddie Murphy, old Eddie Murphy, old like Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Tom Segura, man. Mm-hmm. That guy's the goat. Same. And uh, that's your three. Yeah, I think that's my three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where I have to draw a line. Yeah. Yeah. There's good comics out there, man. It's hard. Yeah. It Eddie is hard. Peptone's gonna be a T. He's like, there's like older cats who like are just so good. You know what I mean? He's been doing it for years, and like that style is like not imitated by anybody else. So it's yeah, like comedy special like that. Yeah, absolutely. What about you? Um, I gotta go with my girl Nikki Glaser. Nikki Glaser, yeah, of course. I forgot you're yeah. a Nikki fan like that. Yeah, I'm yeah, a huge Nikki Nikki fan. She's big. fly because she be getting like the mics like pink and bedazzled and shit when she's doing her set. Like, yeah, you know, like that's just so player to me. Yeah, yeah. that's that's the goal. Yeah, M- my goal is to have her on this podcast. Mark my words. Yeah, let's one go. day, one day. I'm gonna manifest, and I'll help that right now. Nikki, yes, Nikki, on this podcast, I will have you on this podcast one day. I don't know if it's gonna be years from now or 10 years from now but one day eventually yeah, hopefully not downfall or your upcome you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah eventually yeah, um like episode who, seven Nikki yeah, Glazer. Yeah, next one. <laughs> next. she's like yo you know jorge no, <laughs> i don't know how aloe's gonna feel about that because yeah. next episode's aloe but um oh you got aloe damn you yeah. got me before aloe i'm humbled that way i mean i'm i'm honored he should be humble. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, a shout out. Alan, Alan means a man, dude. Yeah, he is. I didn't know what, uh, when I started comedy, uh, I didn't know like what Kill Tony was. Like I just kind of knew what Santa was. Now. He's like, you don't know what Kill Tony is? I was like, nah, man. Uh, but he was like telling me all about how he did that. And like he went on there. He had the golden ticket and I went on to Kill Tony a bunch of times. And like, like it was just a real good accomplishment like, as a comedian. But like I remember him telling me as a, like when I was younger and like I was like, oh, really? Cool, 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 man. And he goes, yeah. And at the end of the conversation, he goes, you know what Kill, to- you know what Kill Tony is? And I was like, Nah, <laughs> it's just like you can see in his face, like, ah, oh, all right, man. <laughs> and then uh, he's been cool with me, and I, I found out since then. I, I hit him back up about it like the second time right after, and I was like, hey, man, like now that I know what's up, that's a cool accomplishment. Yeah, <laughs> that's tight. Yeah, yeah. He's seen me come from like, you know, not as good to like where I'm at now, you know, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah, same. I mean, it's it's cool to, um, you know, uh, watching him watch me too yeah. you know because yeah. like just a year ago i was barely you know chugging along my 10 minutes and yeah now i'm like you know rocking and rolling it feels good man it feels like um when you know when you get on a good stride or when you have like a nice set of jokes you're like or when it bombs and you can get a joke to do well after it's bombed for so long. Mm-hmm. Dude, I've burped like three times and I've took one sip of this fucking thing. <laughs> Whenever uh, I bomb, I'm like, sorry, guys, I've bombed like the United States does the Middle East. Um, <laughs> that's a good, that's a good, that's a good bomb. <laughs> Thank uh, you. You've had, uh, have you had Matthew Jacobson on here? No, no, I have not. Never mind that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, he has this great thing that he'll like, he'll do the joke. And if it sometimes, like if it doesn't do like as great as it does or sometimes it'll do all right. He'll just be like, hey, you ever do a joke? Like that specifically to no one else in the crowd doing anything like to silence, <laughs> and then no, nope. all right, like he's just a perfect like ah. So like I've seen it get pops from crowds that have no idea, have never seen him before. So it's like yeah, it's nice to have. I think those like back pocket like hey, if this bombs, I can say this really quick and it'll get me out of this corner. So yeah, it's nice to have those. Yeah, yeah. sometimes I I work on I've been working on this joke for like a while, and I have been. I ran it past my the last guest I had. Have, let's on the podcast. Yes. Ugh, all right, we won't repeat it. We will, no. Okay, I'll tell yeah. you it afterwards. All right, all right. Last um, guest didn't good. like it. No, <laughs> he didn't like it. No, I've been like working on it for a while. He liked he liked the joke. He he just didn't like how you uh, presented it. It doesn't have a it it doesn't have the delivery yet. It doesn't. Oh, okay. I I came up with. But it is a, it is a funny observation. Is it another it is. abortion joke? No. Oh, because he said it doesn't have a delivery yet, so I was <laughs> <laughs> sizzle. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> no, but uh, go ahead, continue. Um, 
But yeah, so it's just not getting there yet, or you just yeah, have, like, I just I've been, been working on it for a while, and I just haven't hit it yet. And you can run it by every comedian by the season finale. You'll have it. Yeah, yeah I think hopefully. that's a great idea. You like yeah. get every comedian's opinion, and then we all help you punch it up, and then like by the end of it, you just okay. That. Maybe I will do it then. For you. Okay, um, so <laughs> I Wait, I'm into over. okay. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm into so. I'm into uh, BDSM and I think mm. I'm into BDSM because all of my ancestors were victims of domestic <laughs> violence. The only difference between me and them is that there were survivors and I'm just a slut. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's pretty good. I like it. Okay. I think, I think there's some okay. like there for sure. You did it better this week than you did last week. Okay. For the record. Thank you. I, I, like I don't remember the, the survivor versus the slut thing. That is new. Last week. See, that's that what is it's all new. About. That part is new. Yeah. See, I'm working on it. You're like, it's in my blood to have a collar and chain on my neck or something. Or just whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whatever. No, I just like to be smacked around. Dude, I think about that. Not that, but <laughs> not getting smacked around. <laughs> but I think about how, uh, like, if you go back in anybody's race enough, like anybody's race far enough, you'll most likely find a slave or someone who just, you know, was smacked was around. Like, yeah, smacked around. Like, I yeah. thought I was like 100% like Hispanic, like, May, like Mayan Mexican for like the longest. And then, like, like my white friends would be like, no, look at you. <laughs> like, you're obviously of European in you. And I'm like, nah, no way. And then I would like talk to my grandma. My grandma, my whole life, told me I was Mexican. And then, like, Three years ago, I called her and I was like, hey, do we have, like, Spaniard in our blood? Oh, yeah, we absolutely goes, do. Yeah, 1,000%. Yeah, I'm like, what? What? Oh, like, yeah. I have how? a jo- I, I should definitely do it tonight. Um, I have a joke about how um, uh, I try to not hate my in-laws because, uh, because that... Because, They're Spaniard? No, oh. <laughs> because they... I Because they... God damn it. Um, See, this is why I don't drink because (laughs) I had a little tiny bit and now I'm like forgetting. Um, Uh Because they, I don't, oh, because I don't want to get a DNA, Mm -hmm. like a Mm 23andMe test, like an ancestry.com test, because I don't want to know what percentage of Europe raped my ancestors. (laughs) Yeah. Like I already hate my. In laws <laughs> enough as yeah. is. Yep, that would just make you hate yourself a little bit more, though. You know, I already like do. you really are your worst enemy. Yeah, I really yeah. am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, we're de- definitely have some Spaniard in us. Yeah, it's it was mind blowing. What were we talking about right before that? I had a point to make, and I fucking forgot it. About being Spaniards. Right before that. We always get back to being Mexican. <laughs> yeah. It about was the them. joke about your ancestors. Yes. No, about the joke. Yeah. No, I think that's the best way to do it, though. The way you had it set up and then just punch it down with like. They slaves, were survivors. Slut. Slave sluts is the best way to, you know, hot and cold it. They were survivors and I'm just a slut. Yep. Thank you. Um. Yeah. Well, it's a f- it's funny because when I was uh, in. One of my ethics classes, um, mm. I was reading a piece about how, like, Mayans and Aztecs, if you were rude or, like, or if you showed, like, mm. negative emotions, mm. you would literally get the shit beat out of you or beheaded or, like, get your fucking heart ripped out. That's crazy. It's still like Which that is, in some places. It is. <laughs> it's insane. It's like, it was like, be fucking nice or yeah. I will or kill you. Dead. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's... I'm not saying that's a good thing, <laughs> but it's like it's so that, Mexican. That gets you to act like right. Mexicans, uh, we're still like that. Like yeah. it's like be fucking nice, like that, or sure. we will fucking behead you. Yeah, I'm cool with the beating your ass part. That part I think should stick around, but don't rip my heart out because I forgot to wave to you, bro. Like I feel like that's pretty extreme. My bad. My bad. Yeah, have you ever been to California? Um, not since I was a child. No, I. Uh, you like it. Uh, Hispanics out there are pretty chill. They're like, they're just cool. I have then, a, uh, my uncle lives in California. Is he cool? Yeah, he is. He lives Told you. in <laughs> Merced. <laughs> okay. He lives in yeah, yeah. Northern California. Oh, okay, so he's up there. Yeah, no, I'm Southern, but it's cool, man. Everyone's cool vibes there. It's like, I guess some people could take it disrespectful, but like some people walk around and they're like mad dog and they're just like, look at you like, what the fuck? But like, that's just their face. Like, that's just yeah. how they look at you and they're like, just 
it's n- literally no beef, but it's like if you wanted that confrontation, you just go to that guy and be like, what are you looking at? And that guy will absolutely back up that face. <laughs> like, oh, I bet. Yeah. Like out here, I've noticed it's not really like that. No one really cares at all. Like Iowa Nice is a legit thing. Oh, yeah. Crazy. See, that's why I don't know if I could ever move out of – iowa Mm -hmm. because people are so nice here like you can't even like go to chicago (laughs) i don't know wow oh you said mean girl earlier i was fucking around if i don't like you okay 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 so nice girl but have a switch yes all right good to know good to know yeah so if there's a heckler i'll be like karen get his ass (laughs) all right all right i'm actually pretty good with hecklers really okay yeah i'm pretty good i'll give them some attention if they want it they obviously want to talk about something so I'm like, oh, I will, get off their chest I will ignore them if, if it's warranted. Have you ever gotten a good heckle? Yeah. Like, a, like someone said something that was really funny during yeah. this and they got like a bigger pop almost than your oh, joke. Oh yeah, yeah that absolutely. Shit burns. <laughs> that hurts your soul. I hate that. Feeling. Yeah. Uh, shout out Dave Bowman. Uh, <laughs> I was, uh, I was doing this joke. I was like, uh, it's a, it's a way it got put together. It's still not great now, but I would do the joke back. Uh, yeah, when I first started doing stand up, I lost my first joke book. And before I could even get into the bit, he would go, Good. <laughs> 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 and it just killed it. It slayed the room. That's funny. Yeah, it like forced me to make the joke like better a little bit. And That's funny. Yeah, I still still doesn't get as big a pop to this day. You know what so I would I say to it. say to Dave? Hmm. I'd be like, Shut up, you got cancer. Yeah. That's my <laughs> answer to everything. Like I swear to God, as soon as he adds me on Facebook, I just add him back and say cancer. <laughs> one word and I send it to him yeah, he knows no I'm just kidding Dave love you dude Dave's the best he gives black handshakes and everything so, and my guy he has a black son do you know that what yeah does he have a black baby mama or something um no he adopted oh okay yeah no he's an even better guy than he thought he was okay. wow <laughs> yeah, he's a cool guy yeah what a cool guy maybe he wasn't supposed to say that cut that actually maybe he doesn't want that on <laughs> 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 never mind I'm gonna fuck up the shit I got going on <laughs> um alright well we uh, are gonna wrap wrap it up, All right, we're like wrap my it up. father should have. There you go. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> nice, nice. Um, <laughs> wrap it up like the baby and my uterus did with the umbilical cord <laughs> around its teeny tiny little neck. Uh. Yeah, that's something we have in common: miscarriages. My girl, my ex had a miscarriage. Shout oh, out good to for that. her. Yeah, no, same. Shout out. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Dude, miscarriages I'm not a are just person. free abortions. Yeah, um, I'm not a religious person. Like I'm not. Are you? No. No. Yeah, I'm not really. Uh, yeah, I should have known. <laughs> uh, I'm not like that. Like I, me and God maybe had a relationship at one point, but like when it happened and my ex had like the miscarriage, like I remember taking a deep breath and I was like, "Yo, like, like God is real. <laughs> like God might be out there, guys. Like He might, He might be real." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was super worried about it, but shout out to Plan B's now. Hey, that's the shit. <laughs> Do you got any dates coming up? Uh, uh, Teehee's Comedy Club. Uh, just if you follow their socials, you'll see me on there. Uh, but follow my social, anime underscore Jorge, uh, spelled out horror the way you want it. I got to get better at my social. I literally have to get a comedy Instagram, huh? No, that I like that. Nah, I'm gonna sw- at least change the name. I just into I it, like that's, it. I, I like anime. Anime I'm Jorge. Fucking, Jorge. Fucking, yeah, I just put horror. <laughs> Jorge. I like it. Yeah, Jorge. It's yeah, I'd say Jorge, but like you say it so many times, I like I literally meet people and be like Jorge or George, like literally whatever you can pronounce. Like I have um, relatives mm-hmm. and their names are Jorge mm-hmm. or Jorge. Yeah, and we call them Coco. Coco. <laughs> Does anybody in your Why family Coco? call you? I got no. Why? Do, okay, I got called Coco. Yes, but I think for a different reason than him. Why was his reason? It's just a thing. Really? Yeah. I used to uh, do carbon fiber out in Salt Lake City, in, like this factory. Um, yeah. In Salt Lake City, shout out to them. They got hella Polynesians there. Uh, and I would work with one dude named Taki, and he was uh, Tongan, and he's a big motherfucker dude. But he'd call me Coco. Uh, because of the movie that Disney came out with Mexicans or whatever, and I looked like Miguel from, Co- but he wouldn't you even do. call me Miguel. He'd call me Coco. You kind of do look <laughs> so, like yeah, Coco. Like the whole so everyone would call me Coco. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like one of my favorite nicknames I got. Yeah. It looked like I, I don't know why, but it's too. a thing. It perfect. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Me- like people Book a name life or Jorge. Coco. That's a real question to ask Hispanics. Book what? a life or Coco the movie. I don't know. You haven't it's, seen Book of Life. I know. I've never seen Book of Life. It's just Coco. It's blasphemy. No. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Get yeah. this close up. That's pretty close. Yeah. That's pretty close. 
Coco. Can you make I that face? Wanna, I just want to know about my grandpa. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> That's pretty close, actually. <laughs> Damn, he got me good, dude. To this day, that roast holds holds strong, bro. Fuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's good. Good stuff. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna be at. Um, I plugged all of these at the last uh, last episode, so I'm gonna do these really quick. But I'm gonna be at the Lucky Cat on uh, the 21st. Great room. Um, at the funniest comedian in Iowa, uh, July 21st. Day piece is gonna be at the Willow Creek Theater on July 22nd. Nice. Evan Hall and Dia Basrai are gonna be at Willow Creek on July 27th. Uh, Dylan Meek and the other guys' comedy are going to be at Willow Creek on July 29th. Uh, tickets on Eventbrite. Great awesome. episode. This was so much fun. I love doing that and listening and judging every event you had. Going, <laughs> I was like, oh, nice, good. Oh, well, that's a good show. It's going to be a good room. <laughs> and then, and like, eh, that one's okay. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, it's going to be a good show tonight. See you next Tuesday, cunts. See ya. Mango Mustache Media.